so what's going on guys welcome back hope you are having a great day and today finally we are going to be looking at the official linux 17.1 for our galaxy j7 2015 at last finally we have the latest stable android 10 on our device so now i'm going to talk about what's really new in this build and i've been using this chrome for the past 24 hours so here are my thoughts and sorry for shooting this video in a dark spot because if I shoot this video in direct sunlight or maybe in a lighter area the video quality becomes super crappy and you barely even notice the skin so that's why I tried to shoot this on a dark background but I will try my best to shoot in a lighter area but it really needs some time to do so so I still just shooting the video in dark sites you know pretty dark person okay whatsoever so you guys saw that it's running the android 10 and yes it's android 10 because it's linear joy 17.1 with the latest security patch from june let's now open up the settings then click on system then the developer options and from here just click on the memory now the reason i just open up these settings because to show you guys how much RAM I get free so as you can see that I get around like 300 MB free which is not that good like if you just open up the memory usage and you can see that the Android OS is taking 523 MB and the system UI is taking 138 MB so keep that in mind that the memory free isn't that good now let's talk about what are its new features so if you open up the styles and wallpapers you will find a new linear OS clock which is minimalistic and this is how it looks like also you have more grid options like 5 into 5 5 into 6 5 into 7 and 6 into 6 Other than that, if you open up the settings, then go to display and then open up the dark theme, you have an option called pure black theme which turns on the amulet theme on the settings which is good. I really don't know if it was available here before or not but yeah, glad to know that you have that. Now if you open up the developer settings, you get few new options like automatic system update as this is an official build so you will get automatic system updates which means OTA update and you have an option called update recovery which will like if you just download an OTA it will replace your stock recovery with Ninja's recovery so that's that one thing I would like to mention is that the screencast isn't working in this build but maybe it might work in future builds if it works I will just update it in the description one thing I would like to mention that you have a built-in screen recorder so to enable that just go to developer settings and scroll down scroll down until you find an option called feature flex so here it is just tap on that and here you have few new options so I'm just going to talk about only one option right here and that is the screen record setting screen record just enable that just turn off and enable and then if you just hold your power button and just tap and hold on the screenshot icon you'll see an option called record voiceover show tabs and start recording so if you tap on that it will record your screen which is a very nice touch like it's working fine and it's smooth so you can just leave without the built-in screen recorder which personally I really don't like so yeah as you can see I'm recording the screen now just stop the that's pretty much it for the official Ninja 17.1 review and I will make a step by step installation tutorial so be sure to watch that and if you have any questions then feel free to ask me in the comment section below I will try my best to reply you and stay happy stay blessed and see you in my next video